Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Shrouded on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. Look at this beautiful backdrop, huh? Isn't that nice? A few things have happened. Sorry about no episode on Monday. We've got the stream for Monday, but today's Tuesday. It is uh, March 12th. So the stream this morning, we did a little bit of this, a little bit of adventure, and then the stream on Monday, the March 11th stream, we did a lot of the building up here in Oswald's place, which we'll go take a look at. I did this mostly over the weekend, this here. Added a bridge in and moved our zip line things here, our grapple hook things, and I put in a little guard down here. You can see we've got the flower blocks a couple ways, a couple blocks around the, the flame now, and then we've got some of our nomad and highlands, or they're kindled. Yeah, no bad and kindled. We've got these guys represented back here with the plant life that's going on back in this area here. So kind of a separate little garden. Up here, nothing's changed here except for the fact we do now have a bridge. What comes into this, this palm wood is amazing. I think you'll agree with me. I got a little carried away with it, maybe, but at the same time, it looks really sweet. I love it. So here we come. We're into Oswald's place, in case you haven't had a chance to see the streams. We did a lot of work in here with the wood and getting some pillars put in. I added a few more stone pillars into the area to give it just a little more strength looking. Uh, the roof, of course, has a little decoration on the ends of it here. You can see there on the ends of the roof there, we got those little cornices coming down right there. So I did that. Uh, we messed around with the new lights. These new lights are gorgeous. Take a look at this entranceway. Oswald's Place is back there, but take a look at that. Uh, we're going to work on Oswald's Place today, and probably our place too. Uh, if that's what we're going to take care of. We're going to do a little, uh, little decorating on the inside here, because we've got this room pretty much done right here. There's some decorating here and there to do, but for the most part, this one is pretty well done. All the workstations have been brought down here, and I have even added some decorative stuff over here. And we're making some charcoal over here, so we could do some more smelting and the things of that nature. Um... What else do we do down here? Bucket here, bucket there, and oh, I went back and I wasn't recording or anything, but I went back and found this gal here and I went ahead and killed her again. Got her trophy, it wasn't that big a deal, and there she is on Oswald's wall over here. I thought she fit in pretty nice, that way when we come out of Oswald's place here, we can uh, see her right up there in front of us. We'll see her quite often. I've got some of that luminescent growth in here, and then the block underneath my feet as we walk by this area. Here we put some dirt, we put some planter beds in with some flowers and some glow mushrooms, one of those new lights right up there as well. And this is the stoop into Oswald's place, which is kind of a hallway really, but it's gonna have his bed and his things in it. And then we've got a door down here. This door opens to a new passageway that goes downstairs into our, car our, our storage area basically and where the carpenter's going to be i went ahead and moved our um archer she's uh, the hunter she's she's upstairs now where oswald used to be down here what happened was when we moved when we i dug in for oswald's place i wound up banging into all of this in here how's the bathroom look well, the bathroom looks a little wonky i've got some blocks here that don't need to be here i could get these guys out of here actually so I got a little work in here to fix up the bathroom, but for the most part, this is how it's going to look down here. We're going to go ahead and probably stretch a ceiling across this. Uh, I know, we've had stone for a long time, and I kind of like the stone, but originally the floor was a little bit lower, and it cut into that upper row of boxes, and I'd really like to be able to have my upper row of boxes there again. So I'm thinking I probably will continue this ceiling um, across the bottom of this right here and leave this hallway leave the hallways stone, leave this stone, but we'll probably put some sort of a, we'll put that roof in all the way across just to stay uniform across the whole thing here. Plus, I mean, he's the carpenter. He's got so much awesome stuff on him. I kind of feel bad about him living in some dirty old basement, you know? So we'll do a little work down here too to kind of gussy things up a bit, just a little bit. But I have decided I do want to continue that floor across here. Uh, and well, floor or ceiling, our ceiling, that floor. But uh, Oswald's place kind of cut into it, and I was okay with that because I could then dig down this little staircase, and we could have ourselves a second stone tunnel, which just makes it, uh, you know, tons of fun, tons of fun. All right, so that took care of that. So I'd like to get his furniture in here and get that made. So we'll kind of clear out our inventory of our stuff and do that. Uh, I'm going to take you on a quick little show and tell because a lot happened over the weekend. I got some time to play and I went ahead and did a bunch of work on the place. 
if we go up, there's nothing really new in here to report other than there, one of our hanging lanterns I put up here because it's just, it's, it's like a thing that, you know, I feel like it's a trophy almost, right? It's almost a trophy. Almost a trophy. We're going to go up to Balthasar's next. Nothing really new inside Balthasar's place. Only thing we changed is we added, we went out and got the um, beehive smoker today. And did that quest and found it and got on track and did that. And we wound up getting the beehive. So we've got a beehive here. This is just here for decorative purposes. There's three up at the farm that are act that can actually produce the honey. Thing is, is you got to use water and sugar to make honey. And then the other recipe in here is for the wax. You can make wax with plant fiber and water, which is, you know, that's, that's a nice way to make plant fiber, something to do with your plant fiber. Right now, I think I turned most of mine into string. But anyway, so we put a beehive down here just as representation for Balthazar's place. Uh, that's all roofed in and stuff, so I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the quick tour of that area. That's our roof right down there. It, it's a little closer than I wanted it to be to this floor here, but at the same time, that's how it turned out, so that's what it is. We have our hunter living upstairs now. We've got the tannery over here, the dry rack is right there, and we have the loom over here. And uh, she's up here now with her stuff, and then we'll start putting, we'll start moving some of her things up here. The stuff we craft up here, we'll store in this box right here. Uh, and then she's living in this room, and I also put the better spindle here, move the chair, put the cup on the chair, so here's the spindle in here. So yeah, this is the hunter's place now, this is her place. And Oswald's down below, so we're going to do some furniture with him. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do up in here. This is kind of um, kind of an open area. I'm not quite sure what I would do with it. I think if I had, if it was, if we had armor stands, I'd probably have some armor on display through here. It'd be a good hallway for something like that, just as a transition area, going from one area to the next. It would be kind of cool to have, uh, you know, armor stands lining the walls here or something. Anyways, yeah, that's the that's what I was thinking about there. Um, I think that's it. We did put up a couple new pieces of artwork. Um, where did I put those now? Oh. Nothing's planted right now, but, you know, we'll, 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 that'll change. I've been doing a lot of the... Uh, Flax. So here's the beehives. I think they're done working right now, but we made some honey. Throw some water in there, some of that sugarcane sugar. Cook sugarcane, and voila, there you go. You got yourself uh, lots and lots of honey, which is great for recipes. So we did that. Um, you guys know about the new well. I don't think there's anything else really to report up here. Oh, I did find on my own over the weekend, just roaming around, I did wind up finding her cauldron again. So I picked it up and brought it back here. And it's actually an item you can place. So I put it up here on the fireplace just to have it there. Uh, but yeah, we have an extra cauldron if we needed it. You know, like we got for the fire pit here. And I think that wraps up that part of it. So that kind of... Um, I think catches you guys up with what we were doing, what we've been doing on the stream. I couldn't record on Monday afternoon because we had some work being done here at the house. It required me to take a look for that. I've got to be on the alert this afternoon too because I've got something coming in this afternoon. I know, busy times, busy times. Spring is here, you know, getting ready for summer fun. Um, so a little work to do. But I think what I want to do is kind of tinker with uh, the room downstairs there and probably our room as well. But we'll take care of Oswald first. And get Oswald situated. A big furry straw mat. Look at that. That's new. That's a plus three comfort. Plus four comfort. Let's throw one of those in here. And one of these guys in here. And I want to put this by the front door. We'll have a few different rugs in there on that one. You, if it bleeds, you can kill it, she says. Back to Oswald's place. I feel like this would be a good rug for right offside uh, next to the bed there, right? That's a nice spot for it. Maybe this one goes where the fire pit's going to be. Maybe we'll put the fireplace over here so it kind of fills up this area of the room. And we'll put the rug here for now. 
Oh, look at that. That just bumped up our rest by upgrading that rug. Boom. Rest buff is now up at over a minute. You guys probably have yours way up there, huh? <laughs> um, this is more like a doormat, I think. And I like to kind of turn these guys at a corner. I think that's nice. Let's do that right there. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. And yeah, we'll put this in front of the fireplace. All right, I need my hammer and I need some blocks, but that's the that's the gist of it right there. We've got ourselves up to level 51 comfort. One minute, one hour, one minute worth of rest buff. We added two minutes to our rest buff uh, by doing this room at the moment. That's pretty sweet. It's not too shabby. So today we wound up way up here in the northeast corner of the map to find the... Uh, the Vuka Sacrifice Hill and all that is up here. You've got the underground infestation here, East Lapis, Ocean's Heart. We were here uh, recent streams and episodes back. And then over here across the way was Vuka Canyon. So this is where we went to to go get the, um, the bee smoker. The bee smoker is what you need for the beehives. Uh, there's still things to do, though. We've got the oasis down here. We've got something here. Uh, I think that's just a yeah, shroud root. Okay, so we've got the shroud root. And there's elixirs. Something I learned today and I hadn't paid attention to is that elixir wells do get a check mark next to them when you do them. Um, it says so. Shroud root, elixir well. That doesn't have an X mark, check mark. Oh, here we go. Shroud root, elixir well. So there's elixir wells I've not done anything at and need to go back and do. There's a bunch of them. So there's points to be gotten uh, by doing some of these guys and getting rid of these and, and taking them out. Going down and do the damage, you know. So I feel like that's something I want to do either on my own or every now and again go with you guys to go do one as well just to see. Because, yeah, there's they're all over the place and I haven't done them. I think they opened up just because we got close by and they popped up. And I've just been looking at them, something I did or didn't have to necessarily do. But you can see, yeah, like I've got a check mark on this one right here. I just need to go over there and hopefully finish that one up. Um, anyway, so there's that. Uh, what else did we do? We did something over at our regular house. Oh, our trees that we were practicing planting to see if they would grow with the ivy on them did not grow with the ivy. They grew big, but they did not grow with the ivy. And you can see there's a big chunk of the map I've not even wandered into. I should. I feel like this is all shroud. Probably going to be a dangerous place to go, but I probably should wander through all of that. Maybe that's something we do this week in an episode and go see what that's all about. Uh, we've not done this. I think there's a boss fight here, the Haunted Sun Temple. Uh, and then there's other Haunted Sun Temples out here, too. There's plenty of stuff still to see way out here. There's markers to go to and take a look at and do. Uh, there's a shroud route right there again, and there's another shroud route there. So you just kind of, kind of, we have to look and see what I've done and haven't done. And there's still tons of things that we could still do uh, for sure. Uh, but today, like I said, I'm going to kind of work on getting at least Oswald's place decorated up. I want to check his inventory and see what he's got for dishes. He's got some nicer dishes, if I'm not mistaken. Dishes. Miscellaneous. He's got this barrel here. Let's go ahead. Well, I've got 40 bronze, huh? Um... Iron bucket. Now, that seems kind of uh, expensive. we got bronze plates and stuff. I think I'm going to go with the copper. I'm going to make some... Co what was this here? A bronze bowl. Oh, there's a bronze pitcher, too. Okay, so I need to make those so we can put one down. One of those downstairs. I didn't realize that was here. I think we've got this one already. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to grab that right there. Okay, those are his dishes. And I don't think there's anything else I need. It would be kind of cool maybe to have an extra crucible just kind of sitting off to the side. Let's make one of those. I think we can place it. Let's see if we can place that. I believe we can. And as a decoration, it would be kind of cool. Yeah, we do. We've got room for an extra. We could just leave it sitting here like it's just uh, you know an old one that fell apart. And there it is, you know. That's nice. I like that idea. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so I need my blocks and stuff too. So let me get organized a little bit more. Just things are popping in my head as we go. And I wanted to make sure I brought you back for those. I need some clay as well. Okay, I've got a little luminescent growth going on in there. It's not the fanciest of fireplaces. Like I said, you know, he's a simple guy. 
I don't even – this room obviously doesn't benefit him because he's not in here. So I don't think this would give him any benefit whatsoever. But it's nice to, you know, it's nice to have these uh, other NPCs that you can uh, build stuff for. It's pretty cool. I love it. Love it to death. It's fantastic. I'll throw a little candle out here too. There we go. A little splash of that right there. Yeah, it's not a very attractive fireplace, but I think I think for Oswald, it's like you know what this is. This is good. This is what it was like in the old days. Maybe I get a few books to put up on that. Now, when you come into Oswald's place, we get to the warmth. We have 101. One minute. Sorry, one hour, one minute. <laughs> Level 51. Rest buff. Of course, we come out here, we start to lose it, but. Uh, yeah, that worked out pretty good. Oswald's place looks put together. Now we can move this rug, too. Kind of wanted this over here in the front of the fireplace. Perfect. Perfect. Oswald's room. Well lit, huh? Maybe too well lit. Maybe I could get rid of this one. Give us a little more action from the uh, campfire here. Maybe that's what we do. We'll put this out here somewhere. Oh, we'll put it right over here. Light up that exit right there. There's, there we go. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Oh my god, you guys. Oswald's place is looking... Pretty, pretty done. I think we got it nailed, you know? This is Oswald's place. We've got little gardens. we got all kinds of stuff set up. All right, give me one second. I think that's just a... I want this for a screenshot so I can use it for my screen, my desktop saver. Yeah, that's what I want. Look at that light coming through those windows. That's so cool. We've learned a few things. Explosive barrel, explosive grenade. We were making uh, explosive arrows earlier. Those are pretty sets of armor, huh? I was looking for some books. We'll do one of those, and one of those, one of those, one of those. And that's it. Ooh, I wanted one of those, huh? So I could put it down and just have it sitting outside the laboratory. I'm going to do that as well. We definitely wanted that outside the laboratory. And it's right here. So let's go ahead and get that put in. I wanted an extra one of these. Maybe I put it right here so we see it a lot when we're going by. Just an extra one. Yeah, just for fun. Sweet. Now, Balthazar's books. Or not Balthazar's, but Oswald's books. Um, <laughs> we can actually get away with that right there. There we go. We'll put those right there. Uh, and then probably have some books up here would be a good idea. Uh, this is going to be a pain in the butt to get up here, though, huh? Oh, nope, I can do it. Okay, sweet. We will tilt these over. And put the other ones right next to it. And they can hold it up. And that'll be good. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, I don't think we have anything to kind of call bookends there, do we? We've got you. We've got you guys. I thought about these guys outside there in our area. And maybe the open book out here too? How about the open book kind of right here? Uh, it doesn't want to show very well. Can I get it on the seat? There we go. Right out here on the chair is a book. And we've got ourselves a little candelabra. I'm going to put that guy right over here on top of this. And this guy here, maybe this is the guy we're looking for for this here. Nah, he's pretty big. He's very sizable. Um, if there's an equally good place to put this on the other side, I'll do it. 
we could literally put this guy. Well, he's got he's got a light there already, but we could put him over here. He looks really cool. I want him out invisible. Besides that, the more light we have, the better, right? Right. Put you right here on this corner. Perfect, just like that. Light up the bridge on both sides. Okay, that's nice. I like it. Coming along, coming along. A little bit of fire showing is always a nice thing. The place is looking good. We could do some decorative stuff on the outer edge here. We need some plant life as well in front to just kind of hide as big as the walls are. But uh, we can take care of that. That's the, yeah, that's the easy part, right? I'm just adjusting myself in my chair here, my creaky chair. I think we've done it. I think we have uh, Oswald looking pretty good. He doesn't have warmth out here. Balthazar doesn't either, so I don't think it really impacts them and what they can do for us. So I'm not going to worry about that. I think we've tried out a lot of the new stuff in this build area, and it looks really good. I love, I love it. Looking good. It's looking pretty sharp. Oswald's place fits in nicely here, and then we've got this little bit of a room here too for him. I think this is enough room for Oswald. He could probably use his own... Like shelves or something. I don't know. I, I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good there. I'm also wondering if I made a couple of those really nice new tables and replaced the dining room tables upstairs, would I... Like this banquet table? If I made two of these and put them... Well, we need more lapis. But if I put these in place of the two dining room tables I have right now, that should increase our comfort level even more because we have this one up there now. Plus three. Plus five. So it should bump us up even more. So I, I guess I'll keep my eyes open for some lapis while out exploring. Bring back a little bit of lapis. Oswald's place. I think it's, I think it's quaint. I think it's perfect for him. It's small. It's tiny. He's got a great big workshop though, right? Exits on either side or straight through. We've got a lot of fun area around here to run around and see Oswald in. We've got some beautiful woodworking, some beautiful lighting, a little, little garden right there, a little flower garden, just to keep Oswald from going crazy. And a nice bridge tying both of these sides together with a little garden below as we walk by. I think that is perfect. Yeah, I think I want to upgrade those two dining room tables and put the new ones in there. So Lapis is something we should probably go out and get. That is pretty sweet. Okay, I'm happy with how that turned out. Very good. All right, so I'm going to drop some stuff off, and I think I'm probably going to go out and get that Lapis. I'm going to just drop the blocks in here because this is where I have been storing this stuff as of late. Okay, so we're going to throw some charcoal in here. We were working on this during the stream, and I forgot all about it. So we've got the coal powder going. The coal powder is then going to go in here, and we are going to make these black powder kegs. It takes nitrate, sulfur. Oh, jeez. Let's throw all that back in there. Well, you can see what it takes. Nitrate, sulfur, and coal powder. Seven nitrate. Wow. To make one black powder. Hey, Chihuahua, that's expensive. Nitrate is not cheap. Okay, we should be able to make our first explosive arrows here in about five seconds. And the sun has gone down so we can see what the base looks like at night. I always love checking on it at night. Okay, that's the last barrel of that we needed. Let's go out front and take a look and see. Okay, she appears to be well lit. A little dark over on that corner there, but through the middle here and over into Oswald's new forge area. It looks, looks pretty good. And up the side of the mountain, it just kind of uh, emanates blue all the way up. Having the spire over there is helpful. It's nice. We got Oswald down here. Well lit. This is this forge area is pretty well lit. I feel like uh, we could see pretty good in here, hopefully. Uh, maybe we could use a little more light on this side over here. We kind of neglected this side a little bit, but uh, that looks pretty good, I think. 
Off we go. Let's go get those arrows. Explosive arrows. Hello, hello. Arrows. Uh, special arrows, I'm sorry. We're going to do those. And boom. We got those guys taken Peace. care of. There they are. The fire damage. 41 damage, fire, and fire damage right there. So we'll have to see what they do when they make contact with uh, with people. Can I make any more wisps? That seems to be the one potion I run out of the most at the moment. I don't find as many as I'd like to. Right upon this thing here. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. I can see it. Um, odds are we're, we may run into a fight when we walk in there, so let's at least eat our food. Get our stamina going, and then let's go up here, and we will take a... Use that. And let's go ahead and take one of these, too. And let's go get it. I can see it from here. Looks like it's an easy peasy one. Uh, oh, there's a banshee here. Oh, what is that thing right there? That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah, I yeah. have. Oh my gosh, I need to get rid of her. I need to get out of her line of sight here. All kinds of dudes coming at me. Okay, that takes care of that one. How do you block those? You just block them? I'm not blocking them that way. Whew, okay. Hey, Chihuahua. These guys are all stuck in the ground. How very unfair is that? There should have been a bunch of dudes after me here. But they are all stuck in the ground. We got what we came here for, and that was the Shroud Root. Uh, that's another one taken care of here. There's Elixir Well right over here, too. I kind of feel like I need to go around and go through and take care of these things, you know? Because I haven't done that yet. I guess I misread my map or just thought, well, I'll just go back later. And now I look at the map and there are, they are everywhere. Oh, lapis. Do elixir wells all have bosses in them? I don't know. I know. You think I'd know this stuff by now, right? The answers to these questions, but I don't. Oh, uh, there's one of these gals here. She sucks, man. I hate her. I think underneath, right? Directly underneath her? Yeah, directly underneath her is what you guys said. Get underneath those guys right there and it's not as bad. Just try to stay underneath, I guess, is what you're, what you're suggesting. No, don't shoot. We've got to go down on that in order to do this, I believe. Isn't that true?
Here we go, into the depths. I see something down here, there's like a note or something. I also see these plants. Five shots to kill it, that's not cool. Oh, got bug. Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my shock wand back on here. I think it's a little more powerful. We're supposed to be shutting down this elixir well. Oh, these guys are big. Oh, that's not so bad. This is great. Oh, ouch. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, man, I tell you, this guy here with his little bombs he throws at you, taking his cheap shot. Back on track. Oh, there's a time extender right there. Okay, sweet. Is this stuff okay to walk in? Whoops. Don't go on that radio. What are you doing? Oh, there it is. Right over there. I see it now. Have no fear. There's a specter right over there. You see her? Kind of have to outrun them a little bit, I guess, maybe. They only go a certain distance and then they, they fail. I hate the bugs, man. I just hate the bugs. Oh, here's one of those exploding ones, too. Use them to blow up the nest. Oh, for God's sakes, get off of me. Uh oh, that's a lot of them there. Where's that? So the shroud is just over here to my right, right? Should have used the explosive arrow. Ooh, maybe that's what I should do. That gets rid of the nest right there. Boom, it's done. I killed that little dude with it too. Dang bugs just keep coming. We got another one of these nest spawners right here. 
Get rid of it. Golly, man, they just keep coming. Oh, I've also switched this to iron arrows, too, just so you know. God, that's a lot of dudes right down there. Oh God, hook bugs. Draw them out a little bit at a time. That's a lot of dudes down there. This is great though. We're picking up some pretty good loot. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a archery guy. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I see you. I feel like they re just keep respawning. I see a couple more of them over here. I got a guy on my right here. I see him. Let's get our let's get our uh, oxygen on here. Let's get air. Let's get let's get some breathing abilities here. Whew. All right, sweet. That was a lot of dudes right there. Those explosive arrows were pretty handy. I caused everybody a little bit of damage in their vicinity. You know, I don't know if it was fantastic damage, but it was damage. I can see where you get burned through them pretty fast, though. Uh, let's go into our inventory here. We've got these swords too. I'm going to salvage that. I'm going to salvage that. What are these? Spellbinder gloves. I don't know that we have those. I can only delete that. Salvage that guy. We'll use that. Oh, I should have whipped out one of my fire wisps. I always forget I have the fire wisps with me. What else is in here that we can... Oh, there's a chest back here. Gotcha. Looks like there's a hole for them to come out of as well and respawn. What else do we have tucked away back in here? A lot of the... Uh, oof, that is deadly looking, huh? Let's do it now. Oh, ow, uh, oh, oopsie. That was a bit of a mistake there. Yes, indeed it was. I just came out of the woodwork here all of a sudden, huh?
I'm, I'm, I'm running away. I'm running away. Whew. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot of dudes up there. Whew. Now, what are they keeping secret up here? Right? Tell you, these bugs, man, they've gotten they've gotten much tougher. They are some mean little hombres here. Yeah, you gotta really get on those nests right away. You're screwed. There just get to be so many of them, you know. I should take the time to spend my points on. Getting more damage. Oh, bug, the other bug. Golly, man, I tell you. I killed two bugs with what? Well, <laughs> son of a gun! You are one heck of a shot, sir. He is at that. Holy moly, this place is dangerous down here. I don't know if there's anything else down here for me, but I'm checking. I'm trying to anyways. Got another one of those flowers over here. I tell you, the farther I get into this game, the bigger the places seem to get that I'm going into, you know? We know we need to backtrack that. Whoa, oh, 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 explosives. Those are kind of expensive, huh, to be using on those guys. He's causing me some shroud damage, I think is what he's doing. A little bit of that shroud damage coming off on me. We got a chest up here. Ouch. The chest back here. Maybe that's what we're supposed to find here. Well, this is a good one, too, it looks like. Uh, Wolf's Snarl Longbow. Wolf's Snarl Longbow. There's some random stuff. Creepy, man. Just creepy as I'll get out in here. We'll give it a good look. 
so cool. Look at this, man. This is actually really cool. I mean, this is really neat. Look at this. This is so cool, this pathway through here. Pretty neat. We have made it to the top. We are the winner, winner of chicken dinner. So there we go. All right, elixir well taken care of. Shroud root taken care of. Shroud root taken care of. Root, we got other elixir wells and stuff to do. We've got some here closer to home that are even easier. We could just burn through these guys, I think. Probably. <laughs> I think probably. Hmm. Not much confidence in that, is there? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I appreciate it very much. If you hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking again next time.